for our roof inspections, what we're generally looking for is the overall condition of the roof, making sure there's no broken or cracked tiles, making sure the roof is properly vented, all the flashings properly installed, on flat road roofing, making sure all the sealant's in place, there's no gaps where water can get underneath the roofing material, and that everything properly drains off the roof as the builder intended it to. So we're not looking for any ponding water or any stains indicating some past ponding. Typically in the attic, the first thing we'll start inspecting is the air handler if there is one in the attic. Uh, this unit happens to be a gas unit, so we would go ahead and inspect the burners to make sure the burners are properly operating, make sure it's properly vented to the exterior of the house, make sure there's no indications of any past leaks at the systems, make sure everything's properly draining from the system. Uh, then we'll check the general truss framing of the house or conventional framing. We'll check the insulation type and thickness. On this house is a blown cellulose type insulation which should be about eight to nine inches to give you an R30 and that's the standard level of insulation we want to see in an attic. While we're also up here we'll check your plumbing lines, vent lines, exhaust fans, making sure they're vented through the roofs along with additional roof ventilation for proper ventilation of the attic area. One of the main sections of the plumbing inspection is the water heater. This is a gas water heater. A couple of things we do is we inspect to make sure for the label, the size of it, which is the capacity here is a 50 gallon water heater. And then the serial number usually tells you the age. This is a Bradford White model. So the A represents the year it was built, which on this case was 2005. In the interior of the house, we're going to check things in the kitchens like the garbage disposal, we're going to check the plumbing lines for any kind of leaks, we're going to also check the shelves for any kind of past leaks or staining that indicates there could be a possibility of mold damage. We'll check all the appliances, make sure the appliances are properly operating, see what type of vent your exhaust fan vents, whether it vents back into the house or through the exterior of the house. Also, we'll check electrical safety issues. Uh, in this house, it is equipped with GFIs. We do have testers to test to make sure we'll properly trip the breaker. And then we went, go ahead and reset the GFI to make sure it's properly working. On the interior of the houses, we're going to check for walls, exterior, interior walls, check for any kind of settling cracks, any kind of moisture stains along the ceilings. Also, we're going to check the electrical outlets. In this house, it's a newer house, but they have an outlet turned upside down. That usually lets me know that the top half of this outlet works off of a switch. So that way, we make sure it's properly wired and only the top half turns on and off by the light. The main water inlet to the house is usually located on the outside of the house. What we're checking for is to make sure the proper operation of the water shutoff valve. We'll also check the water pressure, make sure the pressure coming to the house is proper. Uh, this house has a sprinkler system attached to it and it has an anti-siphon valve. During, in the Metro Phoenix area, it's not a big problem to wait for frost in the winter time, but in some of the outlying areas like Queen Creek, Maricopa, we do recommend that the homeowner cover the anti-siphon valve during the winter months because this is the only th area we really do see get some freezing during the couple days a year where we actually get below 32 degrees. The exterior compressor condenser units for your air conditioning system are also inspected. Out here we're running the systems, making sure they sound running proper. We'll also check the labels. The labels will tell us the year of it, also tell us the size of it so we can make sure the air conditioning is properly sized for the size of the house. We'll check the lines coming into the house, check for any deterioration on the insulation that might affect the efficiency of the unit. We will check the drain lines from the attic unit, making sure the drain lines properly draining, making sure there's no stains from the high drain in the, that's connected to the pan of the attic unit. If you ever do see staining on your exterior wall below that drain, it indicates that there was either a past problem with the unit or there's currently a problem with the AC unit and it should be investigated with the seller and or a licensed AC guy.
The main electrical panel is located on the outside of the house on most of the houses out here in Phoenix, Arizona. The uh, reason they do that is a safety feature. So if there is ever a problem, your house is on fire, the utility company can come out and easily turn off power to the house. On the panel, we're going to check to see the main amperage coming into the house. We're also going to check to make sure all the breakers are properly labeled. This is a newer house, so it has a newer safety feature called an arc fault, which you'll find in your bedroom outlets and light fixtures. We'll test the arc faults, making sure they're properly operating. We also remove the cover of the panel to check to make sure all the wiring is properly connected and there has been no signs of any wear or deterioration on the inside of the panel. After the inspection is completed, we load all the pictures into the computer along with typing up the report we review everything with the client at the end of the inspection, and then within the next 24 hours, the report is sent out to the email of both the client and their agent.